Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'm here to introduce you to the brand new MicroTIG 200 Digital. This machine is a full synergic design. What that means is, is the software and the hardware work together in unison to bring you the optimum weld puddle. The machine weighs in just a tad over 25 pounds, 6 and a quarter wide, 12 inches tall, by 16 and 3 quarters long. It's a full 200 amp machine rated at 50 amps at 40% duty cycle. This is done through an air-cooled torch with a finger trigger. It can be operated in both 2T and 4T modes. This is a fully adjustable machine, both AC, DC, DC pulse, and stick modes. Now let me take you through the setup. Made a trip to Home Depot, bought the Levington 30 to 50 amp plug. It's compatible with my shop. Take the green, that's ground, and the blue and the red are your hots, and we'll install the cover and get that torqued down evenly. Now for installing the regulator. The first thing you want to do is visually inspect the inside of the bottle to make sure you have no contamination. We'll do a quick purge. We'll take the regulator and we'll put it in place. And we'll give it just a little torque, make sure it remains airtight. What I've done on mine is I've installed this Husky Universal adapter. I've made a little pigtail off of the stock barbed. Uh, that way it just stays compatible with the rest of my longevity equipment. Now we'll hook up our torch. First we'll start with the trigger control. And the torch. And we'll take a 19 millimeter or a three quarter and we'll apply a little bit of torque to it just to get it seated in place. Next will be our work cable or also referred to as a ground clamp. Let's make sure that we understand that this gets installed on the positive side for the TIG process. So your grounding clamp goes on the positive side. Then we'll want to route the cables so the torch and the ground are on the same side of you while you're welding. Got that set up and ready to go. We're wired and the machine is on. Now we have torch set up. The first thing that I'd like to talk to you about is tungsten. There's three different tungstens that you can utilize in this machine for both AC and DC process. It would be the 2% seriated, which would be the orange, the 1.5 lengthenated, gold, the 2% lanthanated blue. I'm using 332nd in size and I'll show you how to sharpen tungsten. You always want to sharpen it lengthwise and to about two times the thickness of your tungsten. Safety glasses on. We'll run this up here and you only want to use a dedicated grinder to sharpen your tungsten on so it doesn't cross contaminate. So then we have that sharpened. Let me show you how to build the torch. Here's the torch, torch trigger, and it is adjustable on zip ties so you can put it in different positions on how you might choose to use the trigger. And let's build the torch. We have the collet body, just screws in here. All these parts are interchangeable with the weld craft, so if you have a bunch of weld craft stuff sitting around, this is all will all screw right in and work. Then we'll want to match the collet to the tungsten, and that drops in. And I'm going to be welding on the table, so in order to use my long piece of full tungsten, I'll use the long tip. And you screw that down, and that'll tighten things in. Last but not least is our gas cup. Put that on. Then we'll adjust our tungsten for depth, for stick out, and set up and ready to go. Now to the MicroTIG 200 digital panel. Start off with our torch. We're in 2T mode. Push the button once, we go to 4T. Once again, returns back to 2T. On the function button, we are in AC, DC, DC pulse, and stick. 
One more time, returns us back to AC. On the selection knob, turn it down. Right here, we have preflow, upslope amps, upslope time, base amps, AC balance, AC frequency, downslope time, downslope amps, and post flow. Change the function to DC. Starts off again with preflow, upslope amps, upslope time, base current, downslope time, downslope amps, and post flow. Back down again. This is DC pulse, so we have preflow, upslope amps, upslope time, base amps, pulse on the low side, pulse frequency, pulse width, upslope time, upslope amps, and post flow. Hit the function one more time if you were going to use this in stick mode, and you'd use your amps to push your rod. Push the button one more time and return back to the AC mode. I have the machine turned on. I've selected AC. I've dialed in 35 amps. I'm flowing 15 CFH on my argon flow. I'm using a 332nd serrated tungsten, the orange. We are welding some 5052 H32 63 thousandths aluminum. The filler rod I've chosen for this is 4043 in 330 seconds. Another alternative for this would be the 5356 if you were going to go do anodize right after the welding process. I have the balance set at 20% and my frequency at 130 hertz. As you can see, we have a nice stack of dimes going, really good weld consistency. I have switched the machine over to DC pulse. I'm still running 60 amps on the high side. I've set my low amps at 40 and my frequency at 20. I'm still flowing the 15 CFH straight argon. I'm still using the same 332nd 2% serrated tungsten sharpened to a point. I'm still using the 1 16th ER70 S2 rod and we're welding on a test piece of 1 8 hot rolled steel. Watch how the pulse focuses the arc. What that's done is it's tightened up the weld pattern just a little bit. It's made it more consistent and will allow you to run on a small edge and stay on a thin line. Very nice. I like the, the DC pulse feature. Now that I'm done welding with this unit, I'd like to share my thoughts. Wow! What an incredible little welder. You really are fooled into thinking you're using a much larger welder sitting behind you than the tiny little package sitting in front of you. Big welder performance in a tiny portable package. Who would I recommend this for? People in the construction industry, installers, mechanical maintenance and repair, mold manufacturers, people in the pipeline industry, and even the garage builder or hobbyist. Keep in mind it is an air-cooled torch with a finger trigger and is rated at 40% duty cycle at 50 amps. I like the Longevity Micro Tick 200 Digital and mine's going to spend a lot of time with me out in the desert at the races in the pits. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Rubble, and I'll catch you here next time.